Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of our Edge of the Earth rerun. We are on Ice and Death Part 3. And honestly, you you all missed a great conversation about us fighting chimpanzees. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what they call tails? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Something stirs beneath the ice. Through its cra the cracks, a violet or bubbles forth and its odor is pungent. When this agenda would advance, if there is at least one face down card beneath the seeming nightmare, instead of advancing uh, this agenda, remove two Doom from play and find the seeming nightmare with the most face down cards beneath it. Choose one of the cards beneath it at random and then spawn it at its location. Under attack! Your camp has been discovered and now the monsters prowling about the ice and snow are converging in your position. You have only two ways out of this nightmare. You must fight it or you must flee. Each idol on enemy gains victory zero. <laughs> The camp gains investigators. Your location spend four clues as a group. Resign. If there are no idle on enemies in play, advance. If each undefeated, undefeated investigator is resigned, we advance. So just remember, we wanna. We do, if we are defeated at all, our allies that we brought with us die. The trial is just like son of a bitch. I didn't bring Takata. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who would like to go first? I will. So we just need four clues and then we can leave? Yeah, but we want to kill as many as we can. Oh, okay. And then also, like, we, if we can find any more supplies, that's sick. Good thing we brought Skidzo Tool. <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling super good about our killing potential. Um, this is connected to here, so I will go to... I'm in danger anywhere I go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't move, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm busy fiddling with... Oh, yeah, even if you had a stand shit. together, I couldn't. Gain a resource or whatever, I guess, nice. and hang out here. Bryn, why don't you go next? Because determining what card I keep is going to depend on how you're this looking. This is a backpack. I'm probably going to get rid of you, even though you're freaking great. I had infinite time before we start. I'm going to go to the wash hole. <laughs> 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 it's going to be a while. Three on the backpack. Three Let's on the go. backpack. And Bryn started with nine money. Yeah. Um, no, we can't play that first. We have to play the other cards first because the bandolier kills the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a it's like Arkham math equation. Uh, well, he was a Mauser. Nice. Well, that's a gun. It shoots things. Here's another Mauser. Two guns. Here's a bandolier. Nice. Here's a riot whistle. Nice. And here's a liquid courage. Oh, I mean, well, that's six assets? Yeah. It's pretty good. Now the trick is remembering to use my friggin' riot whistle. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was telling Travis I was laughing about that because I was like, uh, just thinking about how you shot him and then you were like, oh, I have this riot whistle I should have <laughs> yeah. used. <laughs> you know... Not my proudest moment. Alright, um, I am going to spend two and play a brand of Kathuga. I'm going to spend two and play a Cornered. Uh, and then I'm going to spend... I think I got these <clears throat> things. I can fight them at four to three. <laughs> no. Uh, and then I think for my last action... I mean, I'm gonna spend two and play these bandages, I think. I'll go like that. Okay. Um, I got to play 15 money worth of things. That's okay. pretty sick. Perfect time. Boom. Fall. It's a foot test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when one or more cards would be shoveled into your deck while you're at a attached location, draw them instead, placing them we'll, we'll, no, no, place them on the bottom of your deck instead of the bottom of the tech lily deck. Discard Kinder Misk at the end of this round. Only when you trigger the thing, of course. Uh, when you discover the... Do there have to be clues here? Near, yeah, it's the nearest yeah, one with nearest clues. With, one at least, with at least one That's clue. Okay, that's why I brought uh, this. Yeah. You also can put, uh, I think, the snow drifts yeah. down here because they're probably not going sure. down. Let's do this one higher. No, these guys don't move. Nothing. I stayed here because I have to. I will move up here because it is not. I don't want to be there. 
No and one then does. I'm going to investigate with my lock picks. I don't need this in anything I have eight. This is probably one of the next priority upgrades. Here's yeah. Those things, so they cost one less and like give me plus two instead of plus one. Yeah, that seemed good. Clue and a card. And wait, who are your allies in your deck again? B cops. Uh, yeah, I also got a different guy. Different guy, Tetsuo. I don't and think he's been in play yet. For my last oh. deck, shall I play Henry. Okay. He's he's a, a, you also had Henry Wong. <laughs> he's a he's an old friend. Okay. It's a, cat it's a Russell. Hey Russ. Hey Russ. It's not a Russell. It's not your video, bud. No, but like it could be. Alright. I'm gonna gain a resource. I'm gonna move over here. Welcome. Um. <laughs> Anti Russell. Panel. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm okay to do a test here. Uh, we're gonna discard this Moonstone to get plus two. So we're just gonna go four to two. Yeah, if I fail, that's okay. Or we pass and get a clue. Look at that. Hey, buddy. We're out of clue tokens. Yeah. We'll use this purple die. You come up if you don't use your claws. All right, uh, Bryn. And don't touch the table. <laughs> Draw. If there's one thing cats love, it's It's rules. a cop. Um, shoot the cop. Shoot the cop. Time to go, copper. I guess it's not a cop. He's well, a he's a detective, which, yeah. I mean. It can be a detective, not be a cop. Yeah, no, you're right. Sorry. Uh, five to three. Oh, good stretch, reach, Russ. Whoa! See you later, oh. punk. Oh, to move. You get extra uh, uh, money from and the browser too? Yeah, I'll take a money. Oh my God, Brim! Huh? I'm the greatest at fighting. I'll pay you if you sit here, but I'm not gonna scratch you on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you have to come to him. He's not gonna come to you, Russell. Yeah, like I don't actually have anything. To Is that it for you, Brim? Interaction. All right, upkeep. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, yeah. Unlike last time, we got a sweet mulligan. It's about time. <laughs> it's about okay. So oh, before this happens, we have to... Which one? Okay, so when it would advance, we instead uh, find the sleeping nightmare with the most face-down cards. Which one do you want to break from? Freeze. Okay, so do you want to do this one or this one? Or do you want to like start to fight them right away? He is attached to... Nope. This location. You can sit here. This is uh, more a question for you, Bryn. I mean, like, I would rather not fight him immediately, but... Okay. Let's do this one, then. Manifestation of Madness. While it attacks you, uh, shovel the top two, attack the into your deck. Now, Travis, you're in to draw your card, which was the... Uh, it's cold here. Uh, uh, each investigator takes one direct. Okay. Each card. <laughs> Brain three for each frost token revealed. Uh, we're going to discard this to go seven to three. <gasps> minus four, we're okay. What? It's a big minus. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'll investigate my lock picks. Yeah, I should go last on this one. That's a minus three here. Fuck. That's a minus two, so minus five. Okay, I had eight, so I passed my break of pick. Because it's cold in there. Yeah, know, yeah, very yeah brittle that He's, You're using an ice, uh, a nope. icicle. Can I and, walk to a different location, please? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got the clue? Yeah, I did get a clue. And then I'll fire up every one. Let's go. Did you want to draw a card from this? I didn't succeed by two or more, so I broke a pick. Oh. I just assume you always succeed, because you're Travis. No, that would be cheating. Oh. Are we not allowed to do that? No. I get nothing. Fuck you, Henry. <laughs> Henry was just like, would you like to hear a soliloquy from Hamlet? <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> but he just launches into it anyway. <laughs> Give me money. Uh, we're going to move here. Uh, and then I'm going to play two emergency caches. I'm just going to stay here and kill Danforth. It's like, what? <laughs> what? That's me. Danforth is cool, yes. Yeah, I got a Faustian text. bargain. <clears throat> wow. Um, I'm just going to spend it to play Leo DeLuca. Let's go! The old friend returned! 
Did you want to go last so you we didn't pressure you to give us money? What? No, because I was putting curse tokens in the bag. Oh, they're down here. Oh, okay. On the floor. I can't get them. Or like a curse token, because apparently that's fair. Do you have the curse tokens? Do that? Do you like to eat your fat? Probably hates Monday too. Yeah, cause unjustly. I think that Garfield hates Mondays because John leaves for work, <laughs> and he's sad. And other fun pop culture theories of Travis on his uh, new podcast. Yeah, <laughs> but I think that Russell would and also hate use Mondays because really he leaves after being home all weekend. It's true. It's true. Wouldn't you, buddy? There's too much. Stuff, stuff on this table for this game. Let's go. At least there's no cats. It's true. All right, uh, enemy phase. This guy's coming towards us. Then we go upkeep. Everybody here takes damage. It's okay, it's okay buddy. I got a tichophobia. Uh, this guy. It is another manifestation of madness. Is kindred in this tier. Uh, we cannot draw cards or play cards at this location. Oh, that okay. sucks. I'm going to go somewhere else. Test foot three. Take damage. Oh, I, I got a nimble. <laughs> Free move, baby. Uh, I'll fail. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do this to me? Uh, well, I only have four foot, and it's like a three test. And just need to draw a zero. I want to tell you, take some really letting me down. <laughs> really letting the team down. This one, bro. Uh, I guess I'll move to a different location because this one sucks. Correct. Where do you want to go? Crash site. No, I'm gonna go to. Oh, we have the clues to open up that location. Yeah, sure, take me to the crash site. And then I am going to. Use any one. Piece of garbage. It's not one of them. Crap. No, I'm just going to take my two resources, or my resource, my card. I wanted a resource, I decided to risk not getting anything and not be able to play the rest of my turn the way I wanted. <laughs> That's gaming. Yeah. That's just gaming. And I'm going to pilfer this location because it's easy. Oh, it's like got two shroud, right? Two shroud. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll put anything you can do. <laughs> I, I would like to succeed this test. Hey, if you claw me, I will fucking throw your ass on the floor. What's that? Uh, minus zero. <laughs> I'll take three clues. Nice. And draw a card. Oh, let's go. I get the clue tokens again. Nice. Uh, I moved, and then I played that, and then he sent me one. Thank God. <laughs> I got two resources. That's my turn. Alright. Why are you so fucking hairy? Um, we're gonna move down here. Um, I'm gonna spend one and place some beautiful fine clothes. And then I'm going to uncage my soul and play a divination. Nice. And that's me. Should we kill this guy next uh, turn? We'll move. Get on the back of the camp and just leave. Yeah, seems great. Yeah, there's a bunch of ice milk here. We need to... I don't want to deal with that. Uh, and I'll draw another Spend how long to say at this scenario? <laughs> I found some hospital debts. <laughs> oh, no. So, no, I don't want to leave right now. <laughs> All right. Upkeep. Bam. Bong. Uh, this guy moves, doesn't he? Oh, I got them. Right. I got them. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Through the ice. That's pretty throw. Well, oh, this is the one where you fall through? Yeah. Okay. It's, you fell through the ice, yeah. There's, it's cold here, one direct damage, we gotta get out. Don't fall through the ice. Well, I mean, it'll only be colder. Yeah. I would, man, what's your evil card? I would love it if one of you fell through the ice. Just, <laughs> I don't know, tell you what. Ice shaft. 
Cool, four to three, let's go. Oh. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, give me the damage. I'm gonna try and leave. Don't walk down, commit. Henry Wan and this unexpected courage. Oh, gross. All right. Draw a card is my ability. I have eight. Eight to two. Good luck. Thanks. I need it. You made it. I'll draw a card. You're going down here? Yeah. So, Brent, should we go try to fight one of these guys? I'm game. Um. Let's head around again. Yeah. You choose which one you Oh, this is gone. We should go to that one because of that kindred mist. Thoughts? <laughs> I'll take two resources because that's what I need. You know, then you're on, you're kind of doing it for me this game. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll pay three for my crafty. Nice. That's my turn. <laughs> you're kind of doing good, bud. Bern, why don't you go first? Now that I want you to. How do you have four damage on you? Uh, <laughs> Did you fall through the ice twice? <laughs> Did you fall? <laughs> yes. Oh, you shafted oh. by the ice. You don't believe how cool that is. Yeah, core temperature is plummeting. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna transfer the two to your mom's hospital beds. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm Skids O'Toole. Welcome to my GoFundMe page. <laughs> I'll gamble with Henry Wan if you want any money. Um, I'll guess I'll just move, try to move in here. Fall through the ice. I, I really mean, hope I don't. I've taken so much damage already. Three to two. Oh, he did it. It's cold, but <laughs> not that cold. It's not that cold. Um, this guy's just my friend now. I don't even need to blow the riot whistle at him. That uh, I mean, like you Whee! can't, you can't see him because there isn't enough space for him with all my stuff. So. You guys know so many things. Well, I played like fifteen money worth of stuff in the first turn, and I don't have anything to do but play things. <laughs> These are the assets I have in my deck. You're playing a Justin deck. <laughs> All right, Russ, I'm going to kick you out. He's being good, though. No, I feel trouble. <laughs> you know, you can just sense it. Yeah. Oh, we were talking. Goodbye, buddy. Uh, let's uh, give him some of this Mauser. Mauser? Uh, like four, four to three, five to three. I know we're split up. Yeah, I think we're just good on that. I think we might die this time. That is possible. No, hope not. I'm going to lose Dan first. Yeah. I mean, like, Danforth will die before I do. So. That is true, that is true. You should have taken Tadaka. Minus two. We're good. I don't get to ready the Mauser, but that's what we brought a second one for. <laughs> that's efficiency. My gun ain't efficient, but my second gun is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, okay, you got it. Your gun jammed. You gotta, you gotta fix that. And I'm like, two guns. Yeah. No problem. <clears throat> um, we'll shoot him with second gun. So this time we're Excuse gonna me. commit. Russell. I think like these two to it, and I'll gamble all my money on this, because that's how we know we're drawing the red token. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this first. Okay, fine. Minus three in total. Minus three, so we got plus three from this, and I was already up two. Nice. Uh, so he'll die, and I'll so give you get me extra five money. money. Yeah. Seems good. And draw a card. And a draw a card. And this guy goes in the victory this display. Guy. Why does he go in the victory? They all gain a uh, victory okay. zero. Sure. Each idol on enemy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is just the the war of ice milk. Are you done, Bryn? Uh, no, I have a Leo action still. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's painful. Yeah, I know, right? No, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. Just investigate 3 2. How's that supposed to help? Little guess clue. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with them, but like, <laughs> I'm getting them. Reveal the location, and then make sure you have four that we can get out. Cool. I right, go check out that other ship. I think I'll just draw a card. No, in the crystalline cavern? No, I know what's there. I don't really care about it. Good. I figured it out. I figured what's up here, though. It's a radio that we can use to talk to people, use abilities that aren't there. 
I don't believe you. I need to see it for myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to attempt to move. I'm going to discard this to cornered, and we're going to go four to two. Three. Five to two. I have a moonstone. That's so much better. Ah! We did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm then going to fight something. And I'm going to commit the strength in numbers, which gives me one, two, three, four. So five symbols. I'm going to commit this fearless as well. You know what? I'm actually just going to go like this. Just like this. We're going to fight. So I have four, five, six, eleven. To five. What are you doing? Fighting my watcher. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, just those classic moments where, like, Patrice might be crazy. Well, I was, I just, when you <laughs> count numbers, I honestly, like, you told, when I'm yeah. playing a clue, right? Check out a little bit during your guys' turns. Uh, we're then going to Divination, and I'm going to commit these. All of a sudden you have monster kills, and you're just like, I have 11, and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I have 8 to 2. Investigating. Sweet. I'll grab two clues. And uh, I'll heal a horror. Nice. The turn went very fucking well. Mm -hmm. All right, enemies. This guy comes here, and then that's it. And then we go, this goes away, but the ice hole stays. Yeah. And then we go upkeep. I'll meet you guys at the crystalline cavern, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, okay, this doesn't discard until this thing happens. So. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those weird ones. Ooh, this is a good hand. Okay, um, they all have two. Where do you want to grab it from, Bryn? This one connects here. This one I mean, connects. We can't get in there right now. Here. We can't get in here either. Basically, they all are going to move here next round. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you want to do Travis's favorite? No, no, we're going to do this one first. So let's go. This is where Travis is going for. Glacial Phantasm. At the end of the enemy phase, if it's ready, move it once toward location with the most investigators. Then we all will draw connecting locations. We'll get a uh, Tekalili. What's your evil card, Travis? Whoa. one of these. <laughs> That's a point mirage here. Oh, that's what you use this. Uh, I have a brain test against the shroud of our location. Oh, sorry, the shelter of our location. So I have five to one. I'll go seven to one. Cool, cool, cool. We're good. I use Henry one. <laughs> Travis is your best friend. <laughs> Do I? No, I'm just going to take a resource. And I'm going to use roll to blank the pole mirage here. And I pay two from here and two for my crafty for a pilfer. Crafty. You got five, six, seven, eight. Draw a card with my ability. Okay. Eight to whatever's over there. Two. Nice. Nice. Three clues, please. Uh, maybe you just live and play 13th Vision. I'm trying to succeed. And then you discard push. your hand? No, I blanked it with a roll. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I draw a card in my cigarette case, though. <laughs> um, now I'll walk down to the next one in the rotation, I guess. So that connects to this. So this guy. Is he going to come to me? Yes. No, I don't want to move then. I mean, like, only if we don't move, right? Yeah, only if Are we you don't move. We can move. Okay. We can keep you safe. Because I know that's all you want. <laughs> Yo, Brent, do you want a card or a resource this turn? I'll always take more resources. Sure. Um, how, have you, well, how many times have you used Skid's ability? I used Hammer Walk, my last ability. Um, I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> I feel like this is entrapment. You're trying to entrap me. Yeah, uh, it hasn't like it hasn't been relevant Damn. yet. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'll go. Yeah. Uh, I got a cornered. 
I got a violin. I'll discard this card. You can get a resource or a card. And then I'm going to play this Quantum Flux. There's no resources because Travis is just hoarding them all. I'm not hoarding them. He said putting a fifth one, a sixth one on his cards. <laughs> <laughs> I got one for my lock fix, I got one for my crafty. Now what one. am I going to eat? <laughs> I'm going to use purple for all his things nah. magic. That's it. That's it for me. My lock picks could be magic too. All right. Yeah. How this many... is the part where we just don't move, right? Yeah. Uh, do you have two actions you can spare for my Atichophobia? Now that I've shuffled my deck. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, leaves me two left. You got three if you pay to my. Yeah, you're right. I could. I'll move here. I only need four though. And I'm gonna trade out this Mauser for a sledgehammer. Nice. Sick. Have you considered playing a not sledgehammer deck for? No, friendship ended with whatever my previous obsession card was. <laughs> it was Bob. <laughs> Sledgehammer is my new best friend. And he's like, what about Bob Sledgehammer? <laughs> That's the oh, next step. Yeah, you really... can also play the Fruit Loops. Can. Let me draw a card. Shit. Okay. Can we just play like Oops so that we can put it into the Fruit Loops and commit it to our Sledgehammer test so then we can Sledgehammer and miss? You know who else can play the Sledgehammer? Wendy. Correct. With six, um, and no, let's do like a Wendy gum Wendy Gumption deck where you just bring their numbers down to zero and then yeah. just hit them with a the sledgehammer. Yeah, she can also play the crystallizer brain. Right. You're not wrong. Oh, cute. She can. Yeah, this guy moves on a taxi brain. And then I don't get a Tekalili card. Nice. He doesn't get to attack, right? Because it's the end of the enemy phase. Yeah. And oh, like, yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Like, yeah, he yeah. will be here. So then I do like get a Tekalili. Yeah, we each get a Tekalili. <laughs> Right? It's just, it's, it's just if he's ready, right? Yeah, just if he's ready, move okay. it once. Or a connecting location. That's okay. Life, shit happens. Shit happens when you're as beautiful as Patrice. All right, then we can go to upkeep. You got hands this gorgeous. I still can't believe that one time when I was like, I'm excited for when they make a Patrice but for money. And then I was like, oh yeah, Preston exists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a good moment. Oh man. Okay, discard this, draw fives. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this goes, all right, so we have two here, one here, two here. Let's do, they're all kind of the same, let's do this one. Yeah, it's just a little baby. Um, I'm also going to, at the end of the turn here, move two of my money onto the hospital beds instead of throwing everything away. Um, which is just kind of gonna live like up at the top here. Because, uh, and I need mine six, I think. Oh, sorry, and this guy's here. Because then we can just get oh. it in a turn. We're about to get overwhelmed. Test the nearest location, cannot play I guess you're doing great. We did the snow graves thing, right? That was the graves yeah. episode? Yeah. So, Bryn, just so you know, at this location, there's going to be two guys coming at you. Only one's going to attack you. But I can come in and run some interference as well. Oh, holy shit. We're actually gods, he said, just keeping a stash of these under his chair. <laughs> <laughs> so he keeps dropping tokens. Oh, dude. Yeah, hey, can I get oh, uh, no. like 10 of these? Yeah, just the elder signs, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, okay, it's cool. I'll just buy ten sets. Seven hundred dollars. I mean, I've done stupider things like in the last twenty-four, no, forty-eight hours. So, did you buy like twelve copies of Project Zomboid? No. <laughs> Maybe. No. Okay. Here's the real question, though. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do, Justin? That's a great question. Uh, I can come in and help you fight stuff. Like I can, I can just, I can probably just gorp this guy. Sure. Odds are good. I mean, we can come in here. I can take um, one of these guys, right? I can take like him, so because I have this fine clothes, I can just fucking eat it. Yep. This one will. So this one. 
Oh, yeah, when a treachery is attached to this, it gains surge, just so we know about the oh, Rocky yeah. Craig. That hasn't yeah. happened, but... No, it hasn't. If you also, like, could kill him and then move over here, we're in a better position. We just can't play cards here. But I could, like, move in here and kill this guy. Or try to move into where the icy depths of hell is. Okay. Uh, let's double action the sledgehammer and commit a vicious blow. Nice. So we've got plus three, we've got seven to four. Come on. See ya. Wherever you go. And then I've got two actions left. I mean, we um, also could go in here and take the fight to him if we're feeling a little randy. You could try to evade him. Yeah, That's a big got, risk. I've only got four, though. Yeah. And I don't have a way to make it better. Because mm. uh, we're a primary fighter, you see. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. I mean, I could maybe evade him. I have fucking two corners. But if, it, if we miss, it goes horribly wrong. It does. I mean, I can live, I can live pretty much either way. But that is kind of fun, though, isn't it? To take the big risk. It is. Because if we kill this guy, there's also this motherfucker. If we kill this guy before this one is, we, we have one less enemy to fight. And you have a sledgehammer. Well, you try to kill this guy. We can't go into the caves. Uh, yeah. yeah, why not? They're locked. They're locked. Yeah, there's a great big door with a key. Uh, and we have a key. Yeah. Alternatively, we could... I might be able to get enough clues. Yeah. Like, alternatively, we can pull back. But, I mean, like, if you can come in here... I wouldn't be able to, like, go okay. in there yeah. as well. If I got all the clues, that'd be my turn. Yeah, okay. I and mean, I've already started my turn as well, so... Yeah. So then you have two actions left? Yeah. You I could can, get I can, a third. I can buy a third. All right, what do you think is best? Uh, so if we go in here, I can't actually kill either of them. Mm -hmm. Not this turn, yeah. Yeah, so like I'm gonna have to take damage. It's okay. Yeah, it's not the worst thing. I could go in there alone. Spooky. Uh, or I can just like... Come in here. I could come back here and have uh, like one action remaining. Um, I can stay where I am because only this guy will hit me anyway. Yeah. And I also can come in here, like, he can eat my fine clothes, too. Yeah. I'm I mean, okay like, I got, I got the B cup. Who I don't really want to die, but, like, he can take some damage for sure. Yeah, but if you take this guy, I can take that guy, because I'm more likely to kill him. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, that could work. Sure, let's stay here, then. Uh, in that case, I am going to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Let's attack at Lili. Great job, dude. Really? Discard an asset I control. Fucking suck it, Riot Whistle. Yeah, Travis is in here. We don't need that. Nope. <laughs> Travis is uh, down I'll fire up Danforth. I just kind of wanted off. Yeah. You're like, uh, I'll be fine. This this uh, this location only spawns enemies from a specific point. Yeah. Draw dude. He's exhausted. Just don't go there. And and really. Yeah, you're a, ticket, you're a ticket out of here. Uh, I'll lose an action that I don't have. So you lose one next on turn. On my next turn, which is the same as if I paid two for it right now, so... Whatever. Did Danforth just give you Tegalilis? I no, I drew one card. Uh you done? I drew like I drew a Tegalili and then Danforth drew me a Tegalili and another card. Right, I'm gonna move yeah. in here. I'm gonna discard a card from my hand. Brian, would you like a card or a resource? Um we're then gonna Sorry, Uncaged Soul, this read the signs. Wow. And I'm gonna just discard this to corner. Because my number's already big enough. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine to three. Nice. Two clues. What's going on on this side of the table? <laughs> I also came out with an Elder Sign token. It's got CO2 leak over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a little bit, though. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just going to do a, a divination. Well, let's investigate, and I have that for five. Sure. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, two, two clues. clues. All right, I have our clues to get out of here. It's a shame. <laughs> uh, play this lock fix. First action. And yeah, then... they're like built out of like fucking toothpicks and jam or whatever. Yeah. Blake the Polar Mirage investigate lock fix twice. Wait, uh, two? So try those two? One. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I didn't specify, so I'll try again. Nice. I draw a card off my cigarette case. Nice. That's my turn. Sweet. Alright. I'm gonna grab this man and he's gonna kill my fine clothes. And then we each get a uh, tech of Lee's. Lee Lee Lee. I guess that has to happen before I draw my card. One, two. One, two. Travis, we're going to send this guy down here. I don't like that. Just what if he catches up to me? You'll evade him with your foot. I... No. You go, bro. That's not what I'm Thank doing. You. I'm getting clues. What are you guys doing this turn? Killing monsters. Fighting guy. <laughs> I'll take 115 and I'll keep it way up to myself. Well, you think I can't do that with only two punch? Look, do you want to try? Just kidding, we got we got one anyway, Brun. Uh -oh. That's gonna <laughs> surge. Be so much worse. It's gonna surge into a brain test. I have to do against the shelter value, but first I need to see if I have to resolve the Tekalili. Tekalili. -li. So I have. Oh yeah, right. This four, be five easy. versus three. I did that bit already. I'm gonna discard a card to go up to um, seven. Seven to three. Zero it is. Good call. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go with our six <laughs> to four. Um, you count the minus one from the way out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Three damage. Nice. Um, and then what the hell? Too many enemies. Too many. It's too easy to do three damage. Yeah, I'm at four health now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that, like that, my friends, is an example of power group. Whoa, yeah. like Mauser, this guy all exhausted. Yeah. Whatever. I can do this. Uh, so we've got five to four. That is notably less because it's actually four to four. <laughs> um. <laughs> You know what, maybe that's not how we killed this guy. Maybe. We just, like, arrest him. Bang. Oh, you can well. put him there too if you want. He's mine. That's basically victory zero. Yeah. And then we just yeah. play another beat cuff with the action instead. <laughs> Um, and that's three. Cool. Uh, at the end of my turn, fourth, two. Three to two. <gasps> two to two. Zero to two. <laughs> zero to z zero to yeah, two. That's fine. Yeah. We'll get rid of one of these. Tragedy. Make Henry Wan worse. <laughs> He's no. like, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. Yeah, I got like, I, I'm breaking you. Huh? I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to discard this to gain a resource. And then we're going to shoot this guy with the brand of Cathoga. Nice. I have five to two. I'm going to discard a card to corner to go. Are you like hitting him? Not shooting him? It's a brand? Yeah, no, it's a... Like a blazer sword. I'm throwing it. Can you do that noise again? That was not as high pitched. It wasn't as good, no. No. But I liked it. Thank you. I liked it enough I wanted to hear it again. Uh, I succeed by one because I had seven minus four is three. This guy is dead. He's an idol one. I get another Tekka Lili. Lee, Lee, Lee. I only brought two Tekka Lili cards. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you. 
We'll find a way. This is a lot better when I played this with Lily. I just yeah, had I know, all right? the tech Lily, so I was like, I have seven. They're like, you know what the you know what the Kluvers the Kluvers have a hard time as it is. Let's just have them not interact with the mechanic. Yeah, it'd be not fun for me to have tech Lily in my deck with all my card draw. I have a four cups that I'm gonna play. Oh no, sorry, actually Lowe's Oh I, I lost an action because I had the minus one, I did not account for that. <laughs> so my turn's done. Nice. Travis. Yeah, calm down. Um, I'll blank this location with this guy. And then I'll investigate with... Am I going to do that? This guy will be coming down to kill yeah, you. Yeah, no, that's what I'm thinking. You so did you say kill me? <laughs> Sorry, hurt you. Just hurt make you? it, just be a little big old bully. Um... No, I'm gonna move into the Crystalline Caverns. Uh, 12 clues? Yeah. You got five, so it's... Oh, uh, no, that's me at your location. <laughs> what? The absolute anger. Fine, I will blank this location with Roald Ellsworth, and then I'll investigate my lockpick slice. In left to right order. I have... but six to one. Can you do that? I could. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do seventy one. That's great. No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten to one. Draw a card. Let's go. That's right. It's the thing my deck's supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just lock this deck. Let's go. <laughs> Power overwhelmed. Get a clue. It's probably because yeah, I keep you're gonna get the clue. you're gonna get the clues that you need to get in there. It's probably because I keep replacing tokens with the blue. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Every time you drop something, oh, you're no. just, oh, put, my luck put in another elder sign token so in the cup. I mean, I'm not gonna ability. complain. Ten to one or whatever. Okay, the other lock picks. I'll take another clue and get another action. Three actions remaining. This back. Yeah. <laughs> the shroud's one. It's still right. Mm, yep. Three or two. Hackatoom. <laughs> I'll investigate <laughs> eight to one <laughs> and draw a card. Yeah, I think I'll be able to draw a card. Trent was just like, these cards exist to draw me different cards so that those cards can draw me different cards. Yeah. I'll succeed by three. It's in 41. Get back my opportunist. Do another extra action of my quick thinking. Just the second quick thinking that I draw. Let's see, let's see get, how, how many actions I have left, Justin? Two. No, three now, three. Do you want to move up here I like you originally planned? I want to move in there. All right, 12 clues? Yeah, yeah. you had that. All right, test foot five to climb up one of the crystalline walls in search of evidence. If you succeed in your supply logs, recover this uh, miasmic crystal, and you get this guy. Oh, I'm going to try to win. Yep. Oh, we can now move in here next turn, Bruin. Uh, true Daredevil. Wait, he's got three? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. eight to three. Minus two. Yeah, we'll throw two, it. Two, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to three. Draw a card of manual decks. Now you have two actions. No, you have one one action left. Get back now. with my opportunities. Yeah. But you're doing great. I am doing great. So I have to get all the clues off? Or I can just test the foot five. You can just do the foot five. Sick. Um yeah, I'll just do the foot five. I think five, six, seven. Nine. So we can move in. If we move in here and kill this guy, we can do it before he maybe does that. Because we can prioritize like four turns, three probably because yeah. of an ancient evils. Is this connected to the location we're in? Yes. I can draw a card if I really. Yes. I'll take back with my opportunist and I will do the thing. Nice. You got it? Yeah. Nice. 
10 to 5. So then if Travis off. goes first, Travis can evade the guy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a riot whistle anymore. So. Fine, we're firing on all cylinders. The star on the quick thing is pretty silly. Yeah. All right. Um, These go away. Upkeep. Bong, Travis. I gotta take a Lili. Take a horror. Would you like to draw two cards? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Do it. This guy, might, I figured this guy might as well just be used every time that's possible because we have zero control over it being possible. Does it have to be nearest? Yep. Dang. That's good. One of you guys can come in and kill scary nonsense. Ancient evils. Let's do that one. The farthest one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that guy popped. Did we still want to try to get ahead of this guy? Travis is probably fine for a turn. But we also could just move in here and then just like help no, him. No, I need help. I'm good either way. Well, why don't we see? We want Travis to evade this guy anyway, so Travis, we'll need you to go first. Oh, he also has a fucking uh, 13th nonsense. vision there, too. Oh, yeah, this thing does nothing. I mean, it gives me a minus one skill value. <laughs> it does nothing to me. <laughs> so, you want me to go first, try to evade these guys? Yeah, I'm, we might. I might go up and try to fight this. We might. We want to kill this guy. We have like two turns to do it. I might be able to just kill that guy. Because uh, I got like sure four actions on the Leo, and then I can buy a fifth, so I can move in a sledgehammer twice. Sure. Why don't you you go first? We see how you go, and then I can come help Travis sure. or depending. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Because I mean, if we can get one of these eidolons off the board, that would be kind of. I mean, even my turn is like evade this guy, get bonked by this guy. I don't. Care. Yeah, really? Just this guy's coming too, uh, so we don't want to leave you with three. But I'll come. I believe. Pretty? If you guys will help me, I'll kill gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, he, uh, you're the one that has got the most benefit from him, so I think that's an empty threat. Six to three? <laughs> Is it Justin? Yeah. <laughs> three, three damage? damage. Nice. Uh, and then we'll just, uh, you know do that again and I guess I'll commit this uh, I'd like to be sure of this so like get in there survival knife I'm probably not playing you soon anyway oh my god wow. what? <laughs> what is this That's what it's like to play this game normally yeah. yeah you don't just draw the red token on every critical <laughs> test and then no. die so <laughs> this is this wild is from the game. nice nice got a head up by one um, zero vid Go later. Last one is six two. Zero base number two. What's the tablet? Minus four. Minus four. For each point Ooh. you fail by, discard the top card of your deck and draw each weakness discarded by this effect. Fine. I mean, like on the lamb is like the shittiest card you've ever imagined. <laughs> I would love to have that card in my deck, actually. So yeah, it could it right. be too wild a yeah, fucking right. footprint. That's incredible. So while we're killing, we're probably gonna want to start making our way towards the exit as well, so we can get out of here. Oh, yeah, I can just leave now. I'm done here. I got the foot thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Did you want to go first, evade, and like get out? Yeah, I guess. Mm. This guy revealed this turn, right? Yeah, he did. I'll evade the seeping nightmare. I can't shuffle it back, Justin. There's only one card. You did it. I did it. I don't draw a card. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> but you do take a horror. You're like, you're like, roll takes the horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Henry Wan, this is what you get for reading, <laughs> for reading yeah, Shakespeare. Do you think I was me. fucking joking? <laughs> no, hold your face. Into well, the just watch him. He's like, hit me with the ice pick. Just, <laughs> just do it. Start listening to Henry. <laughs> Draw a car off my ability. And then I have five, six, seven, eight, two, three. 
Uh, minus eight. Okay, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right, well, I will try to hit the sleeping nightmare again. Eleven to three. Nice. Okay. I'll drop card off on a cigarette case. If you move up here, I I'll kill him. I'm just going to eat damage and move. Yeah. I assume up to me? Yep. You know what, oh shit, you Travis, one second. This guy's gonna move down here because he has Hunter now. Just letting you know you're gonna take a little uh, little beating. What do you mean I am? Because this guy. Are you not gonna be here? No, I'm probably gonna leave after I kill that guy. Okay. Okay. I mean, I could stay. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Um. Uh, what's our shroud? Shelter value is three here. I don't have much else to do. Oh, but I could do that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to zap your guy. Okay, Travis. Okay. I'm gonna get plus. Uh, four on this. We have six. We have 10 to 2. Okay. 11 to 2. Yeah. He's dead. I gotta take a lead on that guy, right? Yeah, you do. Lee, lee, lee. I'm also gonna discard a card, and Travis, you can get a resource or draw a card, your choice. <laughs> Is it really a choice, though? <laughs> no. Here, it hits for 2 and 2. Yeah, I suppose I can just eat a bunch of damage this turn if we need. My turn next turn is like evade both of them. And, I mean, ideally, Brain comes in and kills the scootering nonsense. nonsense. I evade the, the nightmare and leaf. Yeah. I can probably kill this guy. Okay. Can you do it without killing me, though? Unknown? Uh, like, how much time do we have left to play this scenario? We have two here and then six on the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's like forever. Infinite time. I'm going to gain three money. Mm hmm. I'm gonna stay in here with you, Travis. Wow. Uh, so and I'm gonna it. quantum flux. And some of this money is for Skid's lovable mother. I suppose I could. She's actually, she was an awful lady. Oh, well, I'm gonna still give money and I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. But, uh, you know. She's dead now, so. <laughs> I thought she was still alive and in the hospital. No, no, we just have to pay the medical bill. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like actually the worst kind of hospital bill. Yeah. All right, um, enemy phase. So if you pay the medical bill off this time, what happens next time when uh, the bills show up? Did you have another mother? Do you mind taking the big guy? I'll take the small guy. Oh, I was going to take them both, but yeah, sure. Travis, I'll bandage you up. All right, then we'll go upkeep. <laughs> good joke. Oh, that's a great draw. What do you mean good joke? You put, it, it's the card in your deck. You put it there. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good joke. joke. Yeah. Doesn't even do anything anymore. Back hurts. Yeah. All right, we're going to make a... Here, this is yours. Oh, okay, I can't kill that guy this turn. That's fine. I'll be in. It's better for you to have it pass it once than to have to have, like, all three of us. Yes. No, you're, like, you're so. not wrong. It just costs no. me an extra action to move. Yep. I have a brain three, so I have six to three. Carry that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this? Yeah. We're going to go eight to three. Yeah, okay. Like, it's just the way it is. It's the way it is. <laughs> it's fine. Cool. Cool, I will evade this guy. At eight, three. I have to draw a card still. Boom. 
All right. So, this place is not what it seems. You feel as though you've trespassed somewhere ancient and terrible, and now its wrath is erupting all around you. Travis, you choose. Do we add a frost token to the chaos bag? Or do we each shuffle the top two technically cards into our deck? The space step of the frost token. Okay. <laughs> Just when I needed another auto fail. We. we never done the frost token stuff. Don't I just finished a run where I had seven frost tokens in. I lost. Okay. So let's not get, as long as we don't get to seven. Okay. Who died? Our frost token guy? That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I made the decision. Let's look at it. Uh, yeah, that, that decision had peril, so. That should actually be Uh, minus three. If I succeed by two, I draw my card. He will be evaded. Alright. We got a run and gun. Probably is our best bet. So if you wanted to keep moving, I'll yep. follow you. I can move here. And then I can move here. Yeah, do a foot test. Okay. Are these not I'm gonna have to uh, fight all the guys in the crystal cavern yeah. to get out, though. Yeah, what's your movement, Bryn? You well, can go like one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, we yeah just, but we, I thought we were gonna try to kill more of these guys because we had six turns. I could put some damage but, on them. How much damage can you put on them and keep moving? Um, like theoretically three. Okay, why don't you try and I'll see what I can do. Okay. I can just I can have it for a turn then. No, because then we have to deal with all the guys, so we probably want to still get out of here as best we can. Okay. Yeah, Alright, so it costs two to move in here. And you shoot the foot test? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. It costs yeah, this two also and... Could, yeah. <laughs> and there's this. You'll do great. Oh, he did. He did do great. He did. Uh, then we'll just, like, double sledgehammer this guy. Nice. I think, which puts me to six to three. Clock. Minus four. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll fail. Okay. I say keep moving. It wasn't because we had lots of frost tokens in there, though. Yes, it was. No. It was entirely that. I wouldn't have drawn. That was the new one. I know I marked them. <laughs> you, you don't mark my tokens. So that, that so you're out of actions now, Bryn? Uh, I can spend two money to move. Yeah, I think we probably want to just so keep we moving. We just keep doing that. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I got to test this zero biz. Minus the two for each point of fail by shell the top card of the Tech Lily deck. One, please. Tech Lily. Lily. Let's see if we can get something better. Oh, you're with me. Hello, friend. Hmm. That is not better. Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to shoot that guy, kill that guy, so I think we just like. Get out of here. Cookie! Cookie's gonna shoot his shot. You can kill that guy, sir. No, it's two action, but if I shoot him with Cookie, he can't attack for the end of the yeah, round, okay. so he'll just, like, live here. Um, alright, I'm gonna discard this... Spectral Razor. Seven? Yeah, seven to two. Nice. He'll take a damage. I'm just gonna turn him sideways. Just to show that he's not attacking mm -hmm. this turn. Uh, we're going to play another brand of Cathuga, and then I'm going to move. Sick. Nice. Okay, this guy stands up. These guys come to party. And then we go upkeep. Uh, Tekka Lili. I don't have any clues. Sick. Uh, I'll draw two cards. <laughs> um, we cannot play cards or draw cards here, but that's after. That's <laughs> after that Danforth, you bastard. <laughs> She'll do two. One. 
two, three, four, five, five. Although three. I suppose like this is mostly a good thing. Yeah, clearing them out for the next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pick someone else. You should have killed Danford with those. <laughs> Just... This is all your fault. You know what you you know. Adolf why. Hitler to uh, to Bobo from The Simpsons. This is all your fault. <laughs> I pass my epiophobia. Nice job. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, we can just start making our way to lake camp and get out of here. Yeah. Because oh, I don't think we can geez. fight all these at once, huh? So. Nice. Um, I can move there from there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brent, can you get here this turn? No. Yeah. Is it cost you two extra actions to move? It costs me like three actions to move. Oh no, th this is connected. Okay, it costs me three actions to move here, right? Does it each time you move or just any, the first time? It's, any, it's every time. Okay, so we can get out next turn. Get rid of this thing. Okay, so I don't have to make a foot test to see if my three action move happens. So no. So that's cool. Here, we'll go here. Um, I'm not... Like, I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm worried about it or oh, not. Oh, we have to go this way, I see. Yeah. yeah. Um, you need six money for your mom, right? Yeah, I just, like, I need two more. Okay, I, I can do that this turn. Okay. I'll draw a card for my last action because uh, there's no further thing I think I can do. Yeah. I'm going to move here. I'm going to pay your mom's hospital debts. Oh, sick. I'm going to... Oh, you're here. You're with me. Sorry, I should deal with you first. Shoot him, cookie. Blast him. Four tech ladies. I think I'm just going to try to evade the motherfucker. Oh, I guess I get to test these zero visits too. Nope, it's cold. Nope, it's cold. <laughs> oh, one of them. Nice. I'm going nine to four against this guy. Then I'll move here, and I'll pay off your pay your mom's hospital debt. Pay off your mom. Um, and then I think I'm gonna just move to be with Travis because Kindred Mist is a little bit spooky. A little bit. All right, this guy stands up, and then these guys all say, "We're coming to get you, Barbara." Oh yeah, that's right. That's in my deck, isn't it? Take a legally. And that technically says, I lose an action this next turn. You're good to go. Okay. Do this one twice. I lose two actions. Oh shit. You are No, oh, and one more cards are oh yeah, I'm not there. That's when one more cards are added. Not when you resolve them. Fine. Brian, can you get here this turn? Yeah, I think so. I got like five actions. So. Yeah, go for it. Oh well uh, Like it's just gonna cost two to move out and then yeah. like two to move in there. Yeah, and I will pay for an extra action which I will use to draw a card. Let's go. You try to get a take a Lily? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll move I'm in not going to test the zero visibility unless it has a possible. I'll move in here. I'm also okay. going to try to get a tech Lili. And then I'll advance. We'll resign. Whoopsie. You follow a makeshift path through a jagged split in the ice shelf, making your way deeper into the mainland towards the mountains. You don't know if these creatures can follow human tracks, or indeed if they need tracks at all in order to pursue you. So you take the time to cover them regardless. Hopefully with this shortcut you found, you'll be safe. Resolution number two. Nice. Alright. Proceed to resolutions. Resolution two. Everyone's alive. Good job. I feel like I did nothing this. <laughs> We have a CP Nightmare in the victory display, right? Yeah, we got yeah. one of them? Yeah. Nice. Yes.
You get two experience. Oh, included automatically, okay. No damage on anybody? Everybody's looking good? Yep. Restful night. Okay. All right, so we have enough time to check on a few team members, regardless of whether they're alive or dead. Mm -hmm. uh, we can read three of the sections below. Who do, who do we want to talk to? I always vote for Ilya, even though I know it's not very good. Uh, I'd like to talk to Dr. Kinsley. Sure. Oh, man, do we want to talk to Lady Who Always Dies in the car, or the plane? We should be good, dude. Dr. Maya right. Singh. Do you want me to read the flavor because we haven't got it? Yeah. The leader of the expedition gives you little heed as you enter her tent. Her eyes are instead glued to the microscope in front of her. She appears to be studying a glob of inky, multicolored ichor in a small petri dish. She must have recovered some of that gunk earlier. You ask if they think it's safe to be studying it so closely. Of course not. Of course not, she responds in dry monotone. But sometimes scientific progress requires an element of jeopardy. It's true in a way. You're only here at all because the team okay, decided to put themselves at risk in order to confirm the truth behind <laughs> Dyer's report. You ask Dr. Kensler what she has discovered. Frustratingly little. Physiologically speaking, this substance is unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, have you seen ice milk before? <laughs> Can you... It's ice milk. Like... I'm not even completely really sure it's a liquid. It seems to possess qualities of all three states of matter. She finally sets the microscope aside, covers the petri dish, and meets your gaze. It would be fascinating were it not trying to kill us. So, like, we're going to try to get her resolute, right? Because we're going to try to get her to the end. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dr. Kensler is sharing her research with you. Yeah. Step one of three complete. Well, one of four, really. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Who do you want to talk to next? You can pick next one, Justin. Talk to dead guy. Talk to Dr. Maya Singh. Talk to Elia. Sopranos picks up. Have we ever talked to Rold? What does he do? I don't know. I'll talk to him. He's been on every quest so far. Yeah, he deserves it. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ellsworth throws you a pocket telescope as you meander through the camp searching for a task. You look free. Follow me, he demands. Sir, I got us hooked up for work. <laughs> you roll your <laughs> eyes and follow begrudgingly as he leads you out into the snowy wilds. Over the howling winds, you ask loudly where he's taking you. Higher, Ellsworth responds simply. For nearly an hour, you follow him up a treacherous tail trail through rocky crags to an icy precipice overlooking the ice shelf. Black jagged mountains loom in the distance, barely visible through the harsh snowfall. There, he says, pointing between the two of the peaks. What does that look like to you? You raise the telescope up to your eye, careful not to press the cold glass against your skin, lest it freeze there. Magnified by the device's lens, you can just make out a narrow pass between the peaks. Perhaps this would be the optimal route to take tomorrow. You convey your thoughts to Ellsworth, and he nods along. I agree. I'll mark it on our map when we get back to camp. We're going to record that we have scouted the mountain pass. Nice. And, Brayden, you get to use the last one. Who do you want to talk to? Dog guy? You know, I know it doesn't do anything. It so... does something for me. It does something for me. Well. It does nothing for you. No. We're going to talk to the doctor who dies in the plane crash all the time. Dr. Mala Sinha. Because, uh, you know... She's always dead. Dr. Sinek gives you a hard glare as you approach. If you tell me that you're too cold to sleep, so help me. She begins but sighs as you shake your head. Sorry, I know, I know. Show me your wounds then. Let me do my job. She pulls out her medical kit and motions for you to sit on the bedroll nearby. No signs of frostbite, hypothermia, or gangrene. That is good. In silence, she studies the bruises and surface uh, injuries you sustained from the crash. Finally, she clicks her tongue and shakes her head. Uncanny, she murmurs under her breath. You, gave her, you give her an inquiring stare. Two aeroplanes, she explains. Over a dozen us spread between the two, and yet we sustained more injuries from the journey across the ice shelf than we did in the crash. Except for, she trails off into harsh silence. This guy who fucking died. <laughs> As she dresses your wounds, you think about the meaning behind her words, the truth that she doesn't want to say out loud. Was the entity that forced your plane to ground you really trying to kill you, or was it simply guiding you? And if so, to what? We uh, can heal a physical trauma mm -hmm. or one partner damage. And all we have is the partner damage on Mr. Ellsworth. Hell yeah. Let's go! Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, like, it's about the same amount of utility as... We gotta check out one more person yeah. because fucking uh, What's-Her-Nuts doesn't count. Who? The doctor. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. It just says, who would you like to check on? We gotta keep going until it tells me to keep going. Nice. Who should we check on? Travis, it's yours again. Uh, we're gonna go through the dead guy stuff. All right, we're gonna look through his pockets, huh? Yeah. Okay. What's it got? 
his pockets. All right. Claypool's belongings lay scattered about the encampment's main tent, including a map of the Ross ice shelf he'd marked with various annotations you don't quite understand. <laughs> Sucks to suck. A cold wind blows open the flaps of the tent and fills the space with frigid air. You wrap your arms around your chest to keep warm. Without Claypool, you are defenseless against the dangerous weather. Being caught out in a polar storm would be deadly, and he was only one of the, with the expertise to accurately predict them. You sigh and make to leave, stopping momentarily to glance at the heavy fur coat bundled with the remainder of Claypool's things. Then you glance down at your own, worn and ragged from your arduous journey. You pick up Claypool's and leave your old coat behind. Maybe he isn't leaving you defenseless against the weather after all. He actually is, because he's dead. That's so harsh, Justin. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's your fault, Winifred. He's You're dead? the pilot. Yeah, you crashed. No, the, the other pilot died. <laughs> I didn't think that was me. <laughs> I it's because pilot. you're drunk all the time. <laughs> it's Tadaka's fault. She's the one you want. Hello. Oh, the supplies over here. Nope. Hi, Russ. <laughs> You're there. Okay, we get Claypool's furs. Are we? We're still recording, huh? Holy cow! Claypool's furs. Uh, it's an armor fast. It's a clothing. Uh, when you can, you re like cancel a frost, frost token, token, deal a damage to it. Is your body slot taken, bro? Yeah, he's a bandolier. And backpacks. Did I want it? Yeah, it's yours. I make lots of discs. All right, we each earned some experience. Nice. Um, what do you have left for Tegalili's, Bryn? You have... Uh, discard, asset, an asset, and, and a card at random. Okay, card, asset. But everything else is gone. You're fine, Russ. Nice. <laughs> Travis, do you have any Tegalili's? No. Must be nice. It is. Oh, I should have two mental trauma. Uh, I have a horror and a damage. I chose to put a frost hook in the bag instead of getting tech lilies, and then I went and took the coat off the guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the frost we don't get to uh, we don't get to sleep for the night. We're going out because there's too many people alive. We're doing too good, so we're gonna go to the Forbidden Peaks. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So huge thank you to everyone who watched this episode. I hope you've been enjoying Travis playing Winifred Havamuck. Bryn doing another sledgehammer deck, and I'm here too. <laughs> Huge thanks for watching. Holy sledgehammer. We'll be back very soon for another episode of this Edge of the Earth run. Russ, you're doing fine, I promise. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's.